Right, I'm going to be doing this as a two-point perspective drawing. Uh, I'm going to look at the angles that are being used over here. You can see that's going at 45 degrees and 45 degrees. I must then use my 45 degree set square over here to take lines from the stationary point up to the picture plane over there and up to the picture plane over there. Once I get those two points on the picture plane, I'm going to drop a line coming down to the horizon line on both of those going down to the horizon line. This one over here is going to give me left hand vanishing point. This one over here is right hand vanishing point. Right, what you need to do now is to draw a fish tank that would house this little um, shape that we've got here. I'm going to take lines coming from the ground line, coming across, and from the ground line, coming across, I now need to find the height of, I'm just going to do the base for now, take that across, take a line going across to RVP and LVP. There we go, you can see the square base um, happening over there. Um, I'm going to just draw a line coming down from that corner and from that corner. And I'm going to drop lines vertically down from there, straight down, and straight down. Right, I can see the base of it. I'm going to draw the section over here as if it was touching the edges. Let me draw that across, getting the full height of the object. From there, take that up to RVP, and there, up to LVP. I'm going to take a line going from that point back to RVP. And from that point over there, I'm going to take a line going back to LVP. Right, so as you can see, I've got the fish tank. There's the base part of it. And in this part, I need to construct that hexa hexagonal shape over there. Right, for me to do that, what I need to do is I need to take lines coming from the corners of this hexagon across to the edge of the shape. I'm going to take lines coming from those points over there down to the stationary point. From there. From there. From there. And from there. Once I've got those points, I drop those down to the edge of the object. There it is on the edge. There it is on the edge. There it is on the edge. And there it is on the edge. Right, once I've got those points over there, I'm going to take those back to LVP. From there. From there. There and from there. Alright, I've now got those lines traveling back. Let's find these points. I'm going to call it A, B, C, D, E, and F on those lines that I've got going back. You can see the lines going back over there. Let's find point A. Point A is going to be somewhere along this line, so take a line going from point A down to picture plane. Drop a line down to the connection point on the line that is going to travel back. So there's point A's line, hits the edge of the object, take the picture plane down, it's on the edge of the object, going back to LVP. There's A coming down to picture plane, drops down, and there's point A over there. Let's do B. There's B, goes there, goes down, goes across to LVP, I'm going to take a line from B down to picture plane. Take a line down to the line that comes down to, to B. Right, so there's, there's line A, there's line B, so that point over there is going to be B. Right, do line C over here. Take a line from C 
Going down to picture plane. Drop that down. And there is line, the point at C. Let's find D. Take a line from D. Comes down to picture plane. Take a line down to D. Right, let me just draw that in. You probably see it coming to life here. There it is, A to B, B to C. If I line B and C up, it should line up with the RVP over there quite nicely as well. Right, from there to D. There we go. Right, I need to find the two points back here. That's F and E. Same story. Take a line coming from F. From F down to picture plane. Drop that down. It should be on the same line as my B is, so it will be on there. That's F over there. Let's take a line from E. From E. Going down to picture plane. Drop that down. And I end up with E over there. All right. Let me just draw that all in. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw vertical lines coming straight down from all of these lines that I've, all of these points that I've just found here. All right, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, well, where should I stop those lines? Um, you'll see that I've got it on the edge over here. So I'm going to take, you can see there's point A, comes along there to the edge of the object, goes down continues down, it hits the edge of the base of it. I'm now going to take a line coming back to LVP and that would be the length of line A. I'm going to come along from B, gets to the edge of the object, comes down, runs all the way down, get that, all the way down to the base of the object, I'm going to take that across to LVP. There it is. And B, this line coming from B, is going to stop at that point over there. From there, I'm going to take a line going back to RVP because I know that these lines over here need to be parallel in real life and over here they're going to be linking up with, L with the RVP over there. I can now drop a line going down to that point from C. Um, I can take a line going across to there and I need to, the last one I need to find is this one that is F over here. F and B are in line so I've got this line coming from that point over there coming across to LVP, there it goes. And so my line F is going to come down and finish over there. And there we go, there's the hexagonal prism. Okay, once I've done that, now I can come back and I can draw in the base of this thing. I started out by drawing the base in construction lines. I can now drop a line down over here. I can see that there is a tunnel going through this, so I need to find out what the height of that tunnel is. Comes across, goes across to LVP over here. Let's find out where that tunnel is. Take lines coming from where it, I've got the hidden detail over there, from there to there, and drop that down. There's the beginning of the tunnel. Uh, let's find the other hidden detail over there. Take that down, draw a line coming down like that, draw that in. Um, I can draw in that line over there. I can draw in 
this line over here, this line over here, this line over here, draw in that line over there. I can draw in a line going back from that corner over there. I can draw in a line coming back from that corner over there. And the very last line that I need is this one. I've got two lines in that corner. I need a final line that's going to go back to RVP there. And this last one over here, which I haven't drawn yet. There's your object finished.